Hello Scrappers and Planet Lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today is part two of scrapping a home surround sound system. Shout out again to my friend Chris Valion for giving me this uh, unit. It didn't work, so rather than drop it off at an electronic depot, he gave it to me for this video. In my previous video, I focused on the control box and there were a lot of goodies inside. There was a lot of copper, there was a really big aluminum heat sink, there was some silver and other metals. So if you haven't seen that video yet, go check that one out. Today what I wanna look at is the speaker and the subwoofer. Uh, there are actually eight speakers that came with this unit and some people what they will do is they will sell the speakers on eBay, uh, the parts of it on eBay. Um, I don't do that. Um, the speaker did not work. So what I'm gonna do with this one is, I'm actually, I'm gonna take it apart to show you what's inside of them. You could bring them in whole uh, and get uh, e-waste price. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna do that with the rest of them because I really don't take them apart because there's not a lot in there. But one thing I do want to show you, and very, very important, is that there is a symbol right there. And this symbol is the Universal MSDS sticker that shows that there are materials in here that are harmful for the trash. Okay, sometimes it's, uh, if there's uh, PB on the bottom, it says for lead. Uh, there is, I think, a small battery in these, so it is very important that these are recycled properly and not just going to the landfill. So, again, the rest of these speakers I'm just going to um, take in as is, but this one I wanted to take apart for you. And here we go. So, the first thing, the top just pops off. Okay, this is, unfortunately, garbage. Okay, I had to actually break this open to get it out. Right, so I'm gonna first start with this. Now this is the plastic box. This can go in the garbage now. There is a small little piece of brass right there that's connected. Uh, I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and hit that out so I can get it. Uh, and these little prongs here have a little bit of brass. Uh, they are coated with glue, so I might not be able to get those off. Um, completely, but I'll try. But the rest of this can now go in the garbage because it's just plastic. Here are your speakers, okay? And I have to remove still the little bolts to get the plastic off here. Some people will put these into their metal bin um, because these are metal. Um, there is a magnet inside of each one of them. Uh, some people, as I said, will just take them off and sell them individually. Um, there is also a control panel right here, okay? This spool uh, looks to be, sometimes they are copper, sometimes they are aluminum. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a file. If this was copper, I would take the time to actually take it apart because it'd be worth more money uh, separately as copper. But if I take a file and just scratch the surface, you can see there is a metallic look which means this is actually aluminum. So it is not really worth my time taking it off of here. I'm just gonna leave it on this circuit board and put it as circuit board price. I am gonna cut off these little wires. I'm gonna put these wires into my low grade wire bin. Um, they're about 20 cents Canadian a pound. And the reason they're low grade is because there's a lot of plastic on them, not much copper inside. Um, so um, I'm just gonna try and maximize the profit. I put them in a bag and it adds up. Um, the battery that I was talking about was actually right in the middle. It connects it and it's just a small battery. It's magnetized on one side. Uh, and this is what contains lead. This is what we don't want to go into the ground or the water system. So I actually have a little battery bucket that I put these in and I will recycle them properly. There is a category at scrapyards for batteries. So any batteries, your home batteries, your batteries from a car or a lawnmower, they are all lumped in as uh, battery price. Okay, and again, the rest of this, I'm just gonna throw into my e-waste 
uh, electronic bin to get uh, electronic price. It's not much, but it's better than going to the landfill. Okay, so that's the speaker. Now the subwoofer, uh, this is actually upside down, has a large speaker on the bottom here. Okay, and I'm just gonna finish taking off the last two screws to get this out. Um, this is made of wood. Okay, so unfortunately the wood is just going to go into the, the trash. Uh, some people, again, will take the speakers as is. Okay, I'm going to take this off and turn so you can see it. So there is a speaker, a nice large speaker. Uh, I'm going to take this. It's got a magnet, so I've got to <laughs> get away from this. So there is a really nice large speaker. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with this other than leave it as is. Um, there is a large magnet that said this is a nice condition. You can see a little bit of cobwebs on it, but um, this will go into my electronic bin. Okay, Some people will actually put them into their steel bin, but you will get more money for electronic price than you would for steel. Okay, So there's your speaker from that on the bottom. As you can see, this is all hollow inside. Um, there is some plastic. This uh, connects to uh, the control panel. The control panel on the back. Okay, I've already taken the screws out. I might have to, for sake of time, hit this out with a hammer. I'm going to try uh, now that it is hollow. Okay, I also have a couple little feet here that are just attached with a screw. Again, to maximize my profit and to reduce as much of this away from the landfill as I can. Uh, I am going to take the screws out of here. This is just plastic, but there is a really nice large screw in here that I'll take out. Okay, and there were four of these. Okay, and the control panel, I can see there's some nice wire inside. Again, I'm going to put my safety glasses on, try and hit this up with a hammer. I think it's going to work. Alright, so I'm going to do the old smashy smashy way. So here we go. And this is actually fun to do. It's very therapeutic. Uh, I'm looking for a bigger hammer. Nope, don't have one there. So here we go. There we go. That actually came out easier than I thought. Okay, so here's my control box. Unfortunately, the rest of this box is garbage. Um, unless you can find another means to use it, maybe a seat or a stool or <laughs> something, I don't know, but this is just gonna go into my garbage. The control box is going to have a lot of goodies, okay? There is some low-grade wire that connects to this plastic bucket, so I'm gonna cut that out. So there's some more low-grade wire. And this wire actually does have two coated brass prongs on it. Some people leave them on for the weight. I actually cut them off and I put them into my coated brass bucket. So there, you can see, here is my control panel. There is a couple circuit boards. This is a lower-grade circuit board because I really don't see anything on this one. This one, however, does have an aluminum heat sink. It has a small transformer. It looks to have a silver contact box right here. And right here is a nice spool of copper. So I'm actually gonna take this off first and show you. I do have to get a, a pair of pliers and open that nut off. Or vice grips I use to. So I'm gonna do that first for you. Coming off, and there we go. 
So, I could have brought this speaker in as, or the subwoofer in as is, and gotten, you know, paid per pound. It uh, would be worth probably, you know, 45 cents, 50 cents. Uh, but if you notice here, this is a giant spool of copper. There is some, uh, like a metal donut inside and the copper is wrapped around it. This alone would be worth more than the subwoofer hole. Okay, so it is a way better worth scrapping this, taking your time scrapping it if it doesn't work. If it does work, you know, you can sell it or donate it. I've donated a couple electronics um, stereo systems to Goodwill uh, just because, you know, it's nice to give back and it's definitely better than going to the landfill. But if it doesn't work, you can definitely scrap it. Okay, so here is some more metal. This plate is also, if I take a magnet to it, aluminum. Okay, so this entire disc here, once I clean it off, is going to be aluminum. Unfortunately, because it has some glue here, I'm gonna try and scrape it off, but this might count as dirty aluminum, um, and there's a disc here. So I'm gonna try my best to scrape it off. If it's clean, if I get it off, it's about 40 cents a pound. If it's dirty like this, it'll be about 10 cents a pound. Okay, I'm gonna take off this circuit board as well. And I'm not gonna unravel this, I'm just showing you uh, what I would do is just take a, a knife, cut the tape around it off, and once I find the opening, some people will cut it in half, uh, or break it in half, and then they'll just slide the um, copper off. You could also spend the time just unraveling it, it works as well, uh, it just takes a little bit more time. Show this. This is your appliance cord that is on the outside of this. This goes for a dollar a pound in Canada. It's not quite a pound, um, but it's pretty close. There are also two coated brass prongs on here. You could keep those on if you wanted to, or you can take those off, uh, just crack them off and put them into your coated brass bucket. That's what I do. Um, but there is another cord. Okay, so the aluminum heat sink is right here. And on my other video, I mentioned that there was a really big aluminum heat sink that I still needed to strip off and clean off. So what I did is I've actually done that already. So there is the aluminum heat sink from the control panel. So it's about three pounds of clean aluminum. Um, so like I said, 40 cents a pound. This one is a lot smaller. Uh, it does connect with a couple screws that I have to pull out. Um, and this transformer, I'm going to separate these things. There is a category at the scrapyard for transformers. And all I do is to make, I take a, just a file, pull it out. Um, some people leave these transformers on their circuit boards for weight. I actually have a separate bin for transformers because there is a separate category at the scrapyard. I'll put these into a bag because uh, I'm looking, there isn't a lot of copper inside of this. It's a lot more plastic um, or paper that goes around it. So these types I will just put into um, my transformer bucket. Okay, there's some more e-waste, a couple of little batteries. I just leave those on there um, and I get uh, circuit board price. I do want to open up this blue box for you. I'm just going to take a screwdriver and use leverage to pop it off. Now this box is a silver contact box. So they come in all colors. I'm going to just break this open to show you. Just take a small hammer. Okay, I'm going to crack the sides off of it. And what I'm going to have inside of this box is I'm going to have a spool of copper, a little spool. And on the top here, I'm just going to open this up for you like this. 
there are going to be a couple silver dots. So there's one, there's sorry, two at the top here, and there is a third one right here. These are actually silver contacts. So these are little spots of silver. So I cut those off and I put them into a bin. And eventually one day, hopefully I can have enough to make a silver bouillon. Okay. I still need to clean this off. A um, little bit of brass in these prongs. Um, very hard to do. You could probably take a hammer to it and get the brass out. Um, it's up to you or if, um, you know, there are a couple other control panels that you need to work at, but this is aluminum. Okay, this circuit board will, can just come out as is and I can get a circuit board price for this. Okay, there is also a, anytime you have a on off switch, there will be a silver contact in this little on and off switch box as well. And again, you've got some lower grade wire here. Okay, so in that subwoofer, there is a lot of waste, but again, you saw there is a lot of goodies. Okay, there's a really heavy, and this is probably about three pounds. Okay, and again, a lot of it is steel, but you're still gonna make more money from the copper than you would as an entire unit. Okay, so there's a nice sheet of aluminum. There's some circuit boards. You have an appliance cord. You had some silver from the silver contacts. You still have a giant speaker that can go into your e-waste. Okay, and a recap again from the little speaker. There's some metal or e-waste with a small circuit board. And there is a battery that we've diverted now from the landfill. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please comment down below, like, share, subscribe. And I will catch you on the next video. Tin Man out.